we just saw it there, crews moving that beach sailboat in Norfolk. And that means people in that neighborhood can breathe a little easier tonight. That boat washed ashore during Hurricane Irene, and then last Friday, it mysteriously burst into flames. Today, 10 on your sides, Andy Fox spoke exclusively with the owner. So Andy, she must be very happy that someone volunteered to take it off of her hands. Well, yeah, she's, uh, the neighbors out here are happy that that's happened, but of course the owners of the boat still devastated that they've lost everything. It was right over here, but it is now gone, completely removed here. A lot of hard work went on here today, but this is where uh, it sat, and this is where there were charred remains, and those have all been taken away. It was a big day of removing what was left of them maybe tomorrow from the Ocean View Beach. The day began early. An excavator operated by American Marine Group chugging down Ocean View Beach. Behind the controls, Tim Mullane contributing his efforts at no cost to the city to remove the burned out boat. Somebody burned up the poor man's home. It's a shame. For 18 days, the beached boat has been the talk of the town. Last Friday, a likely arson burned the boat. Today, the iron keel weighing tons is cut off. Later in the day, standing far away, co-owner Gina Sullivan, all she had, now gone. I'm devastated because, I, again, like I said, everybody, we've been telling everybody all along it was our home. We had uh, hopes. Then Tim Mullane does what Tim Mullane does. He demolishes and removes the boat piece by piece. Gina Sullivan. Only on 10, broken hearted. Instead of a home, it's now a really charred mess. The valuable equipment on the boat, the generator, the diesel engine can be sold for a price and someone is willing to buy it right now. Okay, you're looking live there at the beach. We lost uh, Andy Fox's audio, but as you can see, they are removing that boat from Ocean View.